Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. At the left side of Windows Explorer within Windows 8, you can see the libraries icon and the library groups that appear within it. These libraries contain the different folders that you commonly use to save files to your computer. You can add other folders to these libraries in order to be able to search and back up the files within them using the Windows system. Note that the subfolders within these library folders are already considered part of the library, so you will not need to add those to the definition of the library. However, you can add other folders to the libraries if needed, and you can perform other library management tasks using Windows Explorer. To do this, select the Libraries icon within the left pane in Windows Explorer. You can then select a desired library to manage from the listing shown in the right pane. At the top of the application, you will see a new contextual tab appear in the ribbon named Library Tools. Click the Manage tab within this contextual tab in the ribbon to see your library management commands. To choose which folders are included within the selected library, click the Manage Library button to open a dialog box that allows you to manage the folders that will be included in the selected library. To add a new folder, click the Add button at the right side of the dialog box to open a window that allows you to browse to and then select the folder for inclusion within the library. Once you've selected the desired folder, click the Include Folder button to add the selected folder to the selected library. You can also remove a folder from a library by simply choosing a folder shown within the dialog box, and then clicking the Remove button. Once you've finished selecting the desired folders to be included within the library, click the OK button to apply your changes. You can also choose which folder within a library will be set as the default save folder within a library. To do this, click the Set Save Location drop-down button within the ribbon, and then simply choose a desired folder from the drop-down menu that appears. You can also reset changes that you have made to a selected library by simply clicking the Restore Settings button that appears within the ribbon to reset the selected library back to its default settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.